Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on Gran Turismo 7. This is going to be the daily race B for this week. We are doing group 3 at the Red Bull Ring. We didn't set a time, we're starting from the back for this one. We are taking the Mercedes AMG out for a little spin. It's been a while since I've used it. I love the livery on this thing. Look at that, the monster juiced, looking absolutely beautiful. So you're going to see a lot of Porsche 911s for this one. You're also going to see a lot of Nissan GTRs. The Nissan GTR was the dominant car on the leaderboard. As we get things going right away here. See the Porsche going up the inside of the GTR there, the Porsche with the superior acceleration. As we get the Porsche very, very close to our rear end there. We are going to keep the slipstream, but we're also going to have the slipstream going all the way up the hill. Bit of a AMG sandwich here as we see the Nissan going for the lunge going also over, I think he cut that a bit too much because there's a lot of chaos, very crowded up here, everyone with two second penalties going two by two how many people are going to make it out of this corner alive get it slowed down, we're trying to avoid the carnage get a very good, very big twitch, should I say and they're going three wide try and avoid everyone as best as possible we just get pushed completely out of the way by the French driver that is and then he gets the favour returned we're also just going to leave it in on him there now the Portuguese got a 4 second penalty and we got a 3 second penalty for hitting exactly the same car not really sure how that works out but uh, we're going to take it as long as we can get through the traffic as quickly as possible as we get very much help through that corner and that is going to be the Portuguese out of this race I'm not really sure why we got a 5 or a 0 0.5 second penalty for that as we did get helped through that corner someone going for a massive dive bomb completely missed the corner that's going to help us, that's going to give us a pretty decent gap back to P5 so we can just concentrate, drive our line, catch up with P3 and then see what we can do from that. They're also going free wide into that hairpin that is not going to work. I can tell you that for a fact. But again that's just going to help us. That's just going to increase the gap behind so that we can focus on the Russian up ahead. We do have the Russian and the Brit with Normax very close in front. So I'm kind of hoping they can battle a little bit. Although we do have this 3.5 second penalty which is really going to hurt us. Luckily we have a 5 second gap to the car behind. As the Russian there just goes off and we gain P3. Is he going to be able to take the position back? Yes he is. So we settle in behind the Russian just as we uh, finish serving the penalty. We're not really trying to make the move but I felt like he went a bit too wide on that final corner there. So we're going to go up into P3. It's going to give us a little bit of a bump draft right in the braking zone which put me off slightly. I wasn't really too happy about that but it's going to get the slipstream all the way up this hill so we're going to have to look for the lunge it's going to give us a bump draft again right in the braking zone not really the best place to give a bump draft but we keep the position so it's not it's not too bad just going to have to 
be wary of that and break a little bit sooner. Get it stopped for this tight hairpin here. Can really get on the power nice and early through that corner. Really nice flowing corner once you get it right. That super looking very good for this for these sweeping sweeping S bends of the middle sector there. Really managed to pull up a right behind me. He's going to try and look for the inside as we go very, very wide. Yeah, I'm just going to give him the space, let him have the position. That way, we're not going to lose too much time. Yeah, but we pick up the 0.5 second penalty. I'll take it as long as we're not move, as long as we're not losing time to the German behind. Then I'm pretty happy with that. The Russian in front did go what I thought was too wide into that first corner. Did not pick up a penalty. It's going to go very wide again. And he's just going to lose it on the curb there, again on the power. A little tiny bit too, easy, uh, too early there. And that is going to be P3 for us. So we have a 3.7 second gap to the P2 and over a 5 second back gap to P4 as we skip now to the final lap we, you can see we have caught up with P2 and we've completely left the Spanish behind us so let's see how, how much we can catch up on this on this last lap the gap standing about 1.5 down there to 1.4, 1.3 so we are definitely gaining but we don't have long left to make this move we've really got to keep it clean, keep it precise and just hope and pray that he makes a mistake somewhere we're definitely within the slipstream but we don't have that many long straights left the two longest straights are of course along the main straight and the after turn one straight so this slipstream isn't really going to help us too much as we go very very wide here that's going to be the end of our race we're going to pick up a 0.5 second penalty there and again on the final corner of the final lap that's going to end us with a one second penalty to end this one but a P3 not a bad result starting right at the back so I'll take that but that's going to do it for this one thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video if you do enjoy the content and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next one bye